the Memory Master Director Proof. There are so many ways to do this. Mine is just one way. I did not invent this way. I'm pretty sure I learned it from Facebook from another director, but I have been doing it this way for five years and I love it. It is simple, easy, straightforward, and I'm going to share it with you. Step one, photocopy all of the proof sheets in the foundations book. So for example, cycle one's proof sheets start on page 58. So they actually say proof sheets up here at the top, one spread is one subject. So I went through and I photocopied all of those proof sheets and then I put them in plastic pages in a folder. Okay, so here's all my photocopies. And then, so all my photocopies. The second thing I do is I grab four highlighters of different colors and I highlight all of the memory work in the four colors. So there's the same, you know, four divided by 24 is six. So each highlighter color has six weeks. That means that each highlighter color is doing 25% of the material. See? And I have it random. I do not have them in order because I don't think, I don't want to ask the kids things in order because I don't want it to be a crutch because, you know, a lot of kids, they can tell you, um, you know, the history sentence as long as you've just asked them the one before it. So they need that continuity. But that's not what we're looking for in, in Memory Master. We're looking for these individual pieces of information to be able to be brought up without the prompt of the week before or whatever. So I have that randomized. So I photocopied my things. I highlighted all of it. And then on the day of proofing, I have each of the colors, whoo, you can't read it, there it is, each of the colors written on a card. I put them out like this to the kids and I say pick a card. So they can't see what color it is. They choose a card and that tells me what colors to ask in my proof. So I chose pink. So I'm going to go through and ask all everything that's pink. All right. So that's the long and the short of it. Now let me just show you a few of the things that are a little different. You might have noticed that my Latin for cycle one has no colors. That's because Latin for cycles one and two is six weeks. And that's already 25% because we just repeat those Latin weeks four times. So I ask all of the Latin to every child. In cycle three, I'm actually trying to remember what I do. I think I have the kids just recite John 1, 1 through 7 to me in English and in Latin. And that's what I do for the director proof. In math, I, I have it highlighted like normal. And so if they're under 10, then I'm going to ask them the skip counting things. If they are over 10, I take my CC deck of multiplication cards, I shuffle them, and then I count out a quarter of the deck, which is 17 cards. So I just, I shuffle it, and then I count out 17 cards, and then these are the ones I ask. So instead of those weeks of skip counting, I do a quarter of the deck for every kid that's 10 or over. And then for the rest of math, it's just going to be the same for everybody where I've got it color-coded. Uh, let's see, what's another one? Okay, some of English, for example, in cycle one, weeks one through 12 is the entire preposition song. So, I, but I still had it highlighted, like pieces of it. So I have a little note in here that says, those kids, those green, pink, and blue, if they'd rather just sing me the entire preposition song, they can. Now, I, as the proofer, as the director, I might cut them off because I don't need to hear the whole song. Or I might say, you know, can you tell me the preposition starting with in? And if they can, great. But I, I also tell them, or you can sing me the whole song. So I let them choose. So that it's the same for the different cycles that have um, lists of words that span multiple weeks. I'm not going to try and trip them up by asking them to start in the middle of a list. So if I do ask them that, I will also say, or you can just tell me the entire list. For timeline, I have all of my colors do the president's song because that's so different to me than the rest of the timeline. So I just go ahead and have all the kids do the president's song. And then the timeline, it's, um, timeline itself is broken into chunk chunks of five weeks. So there's five weeks for each color and then every color does the president's song. <coughs> 
And I think that's the only other note I have because, you know, this is geography. And so it's just weeks, weeks of information that I ask based on the color. So that's how I do director proofs. It's easy. It doesn't require that they're pulling. It, it feels more efficient and um, takes up less time than some of the other methods that I've seen. And the last thing I want to note is that the way that I've been doing it is I set up a sign up and I have the kids going for Memory Master sign up for a time to come to my house on one morning and I schedule them, depending on how many Memory Masters I have, I schedule them every 30 minutes or this year I have so many I'm trying to knock them all out in the morning. I have them scheduled every 15 minutes because in my experience, by the time they get to the director proof, it's taking them 15 minutes or less. So I did warn the parents that, you know, we might get a tiny bit behind. So make sure you come 10 minutes early and just hang out. Um, we'll see how it goes. Usually I've done 30 minutes and then I have time in between, but I just didn't want it to take all day this year. So anyway, <clears throat> the last thing I'll, I'll let you know is every year I get the kids some sort of little fidget toy. So I've gotten them like squishy balls. I've gotten them little t containers of putty, uh, like fidget spinners, um, various things like that. And I give it to them as soon as they come in. We pray together and then I give them uh, their little fidget toy to keep. And starting last year, as soon as they're done, I say congratulations and then I give them their t-shirt. And I, I love doing that. I do my director proofs before week 24. So then I give them their shirt and I say, wear it on week 24. And then also wear it to the end of your ceremony. I just, I love having those two opportunities to see all the kids in their Memory Master shirts. I just think that's really cool.